So at Booz Allen, we are a consulting firm, and I'm always amazed how many things that we do. Locally, we work primarily for Department of Defense. We do modeling and simulation, especially of uh, aircraft, foreign threat systems. It's very difficult for us to go hire a very smart radar engineer that knows everything about a Chinese weapon system or something along those lines and use government models and simulations, so we've been able to grow our own. We have an intern program, but what works best for us is rather than hire somebody that could be an intern just for a summer, because by the time they get their security clearance, by the time they get spun up on the models and simulations, when they understand Linux, the environments we use, the summer's over and they're gone. So they're just starting to get useful. Um, so if we can have somebody that can work half time throughout the year, set their work schedule around their school schedule, that proves to be very effective. It's been a learning experience. Um, I'm working with a lot of physics and mathematics and I'm a computer science major. Then I'm also getting back into the physics group of things. If you look at our team of 50 engineers and computer scientists, almost 40% of them are Wright State grads. They're sort of go-getter types. You know, they've worked hard to get through Wright State and uh, that applies very well in the workplace. I came in with previous co-op experience where I've done a lot more work in C++. Uh, mostly right now I'm learning about radar, um, then just a lot of math and physics. They've got the raw materials on how to solve problems. Okay, they may not have been taught the specific things they need to know, but that sort of background of inquisitiveness and ability to solve problems is a big part of what we need to do. So they will get experience with, with clients, they will get experience with uh, new ways of doing things. We're, we're doing some cutting edge sorts of things in uh, modeling and simulation, in uh, the software development aspect, in the visualization portions. And those are some of the things that you won't always be able to get in the classroom.